Right, there we go. Oh, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm not well. I know you're all crying for me, but you know. <laughs> well, it's been two weeks now and I still can't shift this snot. I've got flowing around my head. <laughs> anyway, I got myself some Carson Cross Force <laughs> tyres. I had the top cad tyres on there. Although I loved the tread pattern, they were very stiff. Very hard rubber. These look nice and squishy. Look at it bulging out. It's nice. You're going to get some grip on those. Right, hang on. I'll go and get one of the top cad tyres and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hang on. Right, there we go. Yes. Right and back. There we go. Uh, that's the top cad all terrain tyre. I love the tread pattern on these, but you can see that. Look, I'm hardly putting any weight on it. And these, look. I'm pushing down on that, and if you eat, 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 nothing. They're, they're, they're nice tyres, but they're very, very stiff. Now, oh, I almost get my breath back. I got these tyres, and these tyres, from eBay seller Catman 11R, Prices Model Trucks. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the old thing to his eBay page. Right, um, let's take it for a run down the garden. I know I've got my tanker trailer on again. You've seen it a million times before, but I like using my tanker trailer. And I keep having comments about my axles, saying I must grease them. The axles are grease. They're absolutely packed with grease. The creaking noise you hear from the leaf springs and from the springs inside the shocks. Because it gets the same noise on the trailer. Because this lorry has had a lot of use and a lot of weight on the back so the creaking you hear is from knee springs and this, especially that I can tell you now the diffs are absolutely greased up beautiful, they run like silk yes it still runs on the bushes in the back because I haven't got round to uh, putting the bearings in oh the Mercedes upstairs, that's got bearings all round, so is the night hauler but the creaking noise is not from the bearings, it's from the springs it's all this lot where it's had so much weight on it right, I'm going to get my breath back then we're going to film these tyres and see what they do and see if it all looks marvellous. Right. Anyway, that's the top cads. That's the Carsons. Right, here we go. Right, metal. Right, let's give it a go. I'm going to try and film. I'm going to do a sharp turn and see how the uh, tyre wall holds up. Because um, you got a truck with two axles at the back or more. Of course, everything pivots in the middle, so you get something called scuff. I used to love it when I was a child. Stand at the end of the road, or down, but well, down by the yard, when my dad used to pull out loaded and watch that tire practically fold underneath itself. So I used to love that, and it used to tear the road up. Yes, right. Let's start her up. See if I can film it. May have to back up a bit. Here we go. Oh, you probably can't see that. I wish you could. Here we go, we're going to have to do a scuff ring, a jackknife. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get that one filled. Hey tyres, you can see the grip on them. Um, not the tread, I mean, the actual the way it's gripping. Uh, let's try a bloody tripod. Fight me all the way. Right, see if I can show you what I'm on about. You watch that first, the first wheel, the closest one to you. Look at that, you can actually see it clawing, it's gripping itself, look at that. Right, we've got to stop there. Right, new camera angle. Right! right. When I used to stop before with those truck cabs on it, if I went to go backwards, because they're really stiff, she'd lose grip. So let's see if these bite and take me back up the slope. Remember, the truck's loaded with water. Oh, I love this tripod so much. Joby tripod, you crap. Right, smack her in reverse. Oh, look at that. That's the tyres letting me do that. Do it again. Oh, 
before because the other tyres were so stiff it just sit there and wheels me. Oh, that's perfect. Beautiful. I'm happy so far. I like these tyres, I wish I could show on film what I'm talking about, the way when you turn and the tyre scuffs, and you, oh, it, just, it looks good, it looks good, I love these tyres, I should have bought them in the bloody first place, <laughs> but they are a nice set of tyres, <clears throat> and I've just been having a play around between shots, and oh they've got some grip, they are like, good, they're good, prices model trucks, eBay seller Catman 11R. Right, let's take it down the garden and empty the truck, then I'll have another go. Yeah, beautiful, I like those. in the bank in the back. I am really, 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 really happy with these tyres. There we go. They are twice the price of the um, top cads. I love them. Yeah. I like watching the tyre fold up. It's a turn sharp. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you can't even see. I bet you can't see it in the picture. Oh, my God. Right, that creaking noise, just so you know that you hear, it's the springs, see? And the same happens on the tractor, up there. It's the springs, it's not the axles. They don't need grease and they're grease. See, look, the axles aren't spinning. <coughs> it's the springs. Right, here we go. I'm quite happy sat here playing with me truck. Oh. Think about getting another one. Let's just stop there a minute. Thinking about getting another one, I might do that Tammy and Mercedes. The Giga Space, I don't know yet. Um, the long hauler looks nice, or whatever it's called. But, I don't know. Mercedes, I quite like the Mercedes. I'll have to wait and see, don't know. Right, I'm gonna play with my truck. Right. Yum, or is it? <laughs> Look at that! It went straight up it. And that's shiny, smooth, laminate flooring type stuff. Right. I don't actually need the truck here to unload it. That's where I what I've made up to tip dirt in when I use my tipper. 
Anyway, let's move forward. See if you get stung, it's snagged. Yeah, it's a bit of front one off you goes. <laughs> I like my new tires. Right. I'm gonna sit here and have a play with my truck in my weakened snotty stoot. Oh look at that. You see that? It will spin all the way up that hill, but it never actually stopped. I just gave it full throttle and it just drove up. <laughs> right. I'm gonna make that the end of the video. I can't concentrate, I'm just gonna sit here in my snotty stoot and play with my truck. Right! I'm gone, I'm gone. Right. <coughs> I've been working down my garden. Bought myself some trees. Uh, I don't know if you can see. There we go. Um, anyway. Yeah. Making it nice down here. Uh, I ain't been feeling too good for the past two weeks, so it's been a challenge every time you do something. Uh, just picking up a pencil just feels like you're lifting a load of weights. <laughs> uh, <coughs> well, I'm choking again. <coughs> there we are. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about getting another truck. Maybe next month. I don't know what to get. I've been looking at that Grand Auler, or whatever it's called, Long Auler, Grand Auler. It looks nice, but it doesn't really grab me. It's, it's not like, wow, I must have one. I don't know. I wish they'd do the Mac RS 700L, the rubber duck truck. I know there's companies out there that do the bodies, and you. But, you know, I want them to do one. Oh, my truck's empty. I'm just going to fill her up again, and then I'll have another go. Yeah, it'll sound like a Leyland Boxer or a Leyland Constructor. Hmm. I don't know. I like the Giga Space as well. Also like the Globe Liner. Oh. Right. But anyway, those casts and tyres, I really like them. They're very, very good. Oh, I should have bought them in the first place. Anyway, let's turn the truck off. Before I burn the pump ink. Oh, where's the switch? Oh, there we go. Yeah. I do like they tyres. They're very good. Right, I'm going to go and well, I'm going to play with my truck. Right! <laughs>